Hello everyone and welcome to Craving Solutions. So today we have this um, EcoTouch. It's an electric tankless water heater. And we were having a problem with an E1 error. And uh, it was leading to where uh, basically there was no... I, I was also leaking. Uh, it was leaking, then it was doing an E1 uh, error. And uh, obviously I had to find a solution for this. Uh, I didn't want to buy a whole new one out. Uh, so step number one um, to start diagnosing this is going to be to shut off your water, shut off your electricity, um, and, uh, you know, um, detach it, detach all your connections for, uh, you know, we have this currently set up in a, in a trailer, but obviously you just detach everything. Uh, there are screws that are on the bottom right here. Just uh, take them all out and just pry it open like that and it'll come off. But do it very slowly because there's... Um, uh, a wire you have to detach um, I already got that detached and um, uh, uh, when you put this back also I'd highly recommend uh, you make sure uh, to put it back in a way where it's not near um, the heated elements um, so it doesn't affect it so just be careful uh, when, when, when putting it back okay so that's gonna be uh, the first couple of steps that you need to do um, second um, for me, actually, there, there, there's two things that were, were, were happening, actually. One of them, I believe, the water uh, was leaking uh, because I had it sideways like this. The water was leaking down from here. Uh, it seems we had, a, we had a day where things got really cold and we weren't using the trailer and uh, water was still left. So I believe it just um, kind of uh, made this uh, connection here. Um, uh, I guess it expanded it, causing it to not be as tight as it was. So it was leaking a little bit there. Um, and then also uh, another area where it was leaking that I just found now um, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is right here. Um, so uh, actually there's, um, so it looks similar to this one down here. Okay. I detached it. Uh, but basically uh, this is for detecting the temperature and uh when it's in there, what happened is uh, when it got iced up, it kind of pushed it out. And now what I'm going to do is uh, kind of uh, push it back in and re-secure it. Um, I might even use some uh, some flex paste, although I, I don't, uh, it may be, uh, it may not be necessary, but I just want to be, um, I, I just want to do the extra measures here and, and, and try to do it. So um, I haven't used this in a little while. Hopefully it's still, uh, actually a lot of it seems to kind of harden. So I might just kind of have to, yeah. Unfortunately, I might, this is, yeah. Well, there's a little area here that seems to still have something. I'm gonna try to use this, okay? Um, if I can't, I can't, uh, but I'm gonna try. Because I'd, I'd just rather have extra, uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry, basically. I don't want to close everything back up again and still find a leak. Although I really think you won't need the flex seal. So uh, just a heads up. Okay, so um, continuing on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, and uh, we're going to um, unscrew it. We're going to unscrew this one as well. Okay. Okay. Once you have it unscrewed, just put it to the side here. Okay, and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back in. Um, this is what it looks like right now. And we're just gonna make sure that it's nice and flush uh, before it wasn't as flush. And then when you put this back on, uh, do the do, put it in reverse. So whatever side had a little bit more rust or whatever, just uh, make that be the side that's facing down instead of up this time around, and then uh, screw it back in again. This um, should solve your problem again. I don't think you're gonna need the flex stuff. Um, in fact, I'm just probably just not gonna use it here because I don't think it was even leaking from this one at all. It looked like it was leaking from the top. So, Okay, and then 
Again, do the same with the top one. Okay, I dropped it over here somewhere. And then we're just gonna do the top one. Okay, well, I'll find that in a little bit here. Not sure where it dropped. Um, but again, um, another thing that you can do um, is inspect for any cracks. So if you're seeing that there's any cracks anywhere that happen um, in, in, in the piping here, um, maybe use the flex seal. I don't know how good it's gonna do. Maybe you guys can um, share some comments and suggestions and let people know uh, what you think might work. Uh, for me, I think the flex uh, seal could work. Uh, I obviously can't be sure of anything, <clears throat> but I believe that's what would work. So I would just inspect after you have it open, um, you can run water through it just to kind of dry it all up and run water through it just so you can inspect to see where the water could be coming from. And once you figure it out, um, drain your pipes. Um, if you're in a trailer, just drain all the water. Uh, if you're not in a trailer, uh, then you're just going to want to get like a, a bucket or something and make sure you put the hoses uh, in there so that uh, or the connection hoses in there so that uh, you don't get water everywhere. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful to all of you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. You know, we're almost a thousand subscribers. I uh, hope to um, help you reach that milestone here soon. Um, I appreciate all of your support. Hope I saved you guys money and time. Uh, and uh, take care, everyone. Bye bye.